Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani, and today on Raise the Line, I'm happy to be joined by Jason Bellett who's the co-founder and chief customer officer of Echo, which is a digital health company that equips providers with artificial intelligence-powered digital stethoscopes and electrocardiograms to assist them in the de detection and monitoring of patients with cardiovascular disease. So I already know a lot about your background, but for our audience, which is primarily health professional students and health professionals, we'd love to hear a bit about how you even got into um, founding and co-founding Echo. So we started Echo as undergraduates at UC Berkeley. And it's an interesting story. My, my co-founder, Connor, was in his bioengineering senior thesis class. And he had a really, really broad thesis topic, which was identify a gap in healthcare, go ahead and do stakeholder interviews with providers and administrators. And then by the end of the semester, propose a solution. I mean, couldn't, couldn't be broader um, in terms of scope. But he was really interested in cardiology and, and having had a heart murmur, actually really interested in murmurs as well. And so we spoke with a ton of cardiologists and, and one of them looked down at their stethoscope and said, you know, this is the icon of medicine. It's worn around the neck of 30 million providers around the world, yet it's a rubber tube with a metal chest piece. Um, and we're so reliant on it in the front lines, even, you know, in the age of echocardiography and 12 lead EKG, you know, we still use the stethoscope to pick up the first signs of heart, fail of heart disease and pulmonary disease. Um, yet it's very subjective. Um, and though cardiologists are considered the experts, they even struggle with picking up the nuances, let alone providers who aren't experts in, in cardiovascular care. So kind of the light bulb went off for Connor. Can we build a stethoscope that has embedded AI that actually allows providers to better understand what they're listening to and then give them decision support uh, to be able to pick up disease earlier on? And, and what kind of started out as a pie in the sky, let's bring machine learning to the stethoscope ultimately over the last six years has kind of come into reality with the platform that we've built. Um, and it's been an incredible journey. You know, do you have any advice to them about meeting the challenges of COVID and or, you know, anything related to Echo that they should know as well? A, institutions and healthcare technology companies need to be focused on provider and, and practitioner safety. Um, you know, we went through the PPE crisis, we're still in it, but now we have to think about how do we deliver care with patient and provider safety as one of the foremost if not the foremost concern. Um, and I think medical students need to think about their own safety and, and what tools will they invest in to, and, and what institutions will they go work for that, that really prioritize that. So uh, it's one of those things where I can't, I couldn't even imagine the experience of going into the medical sector in this era, but certainly Echo is here to try to get creative and think of ways to help providers still provide the same level and caliber of care they provided before COVID but in a much safer way, uh, given you know, the infection control concerns. Thanks for watching this preview of Raised Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series, please go to osmosis.org forward slash Raised Line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.